hi guys welcome back to this channel and uh, to this platform thank you so much for tuning in and of course if you are new here do not forget to hit that thumbs up especially if you are interested in the topic of today and also don't forget to subscribe to share and all that so by my side is uh, a friend that i just met recently called stacy mm -hmm. and uh, in today's video we're actually going to speak about like her experience changing from uh, being a house help in Qatar to actually coming to Germany as an au pair and now how she went on to better or to further her life here in Germany. So um, maybe just before I go ahead, she can just say a little bit about herself and then we can now go to the questions. Uh, thank you for hosting me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, um, my name is Stacy Kenya and um, I'm a Kenyan living in Germany and I came to Germany through a au pair program mm -hmm. and I was in Qatar before coming to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's it. And uh, I'm going into this because I've seen so many people approaching me like with questions. People who are in Qatar because of course I started film making videos in Qatar. They wanted to know like how possible it is or how possible was it even for me to move from Kenya mm -hmm. or, or from rather from Qatar to Kenya and now to coming to, to Germany, which is uh, almost like the same path she followed, but of actually on different routes. So um, like uh, question number one, mm -hmm. how like how did you get to, to now leave Kenya and go to Qatar? Which pathway did you use? Um, I left Kenya to Qatar via a friend. Mm -hmm. Before Qatar, I was in Lebanon, mm -hmm. Kadama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was in Lebanon and I used to see a, a lady posting with um, uh, Facebook eh? mm -hmm. with snow and then uh, we had known each other in Facebook yeah? and mm -hmm. I was still in high school and then when I finished high school I wanted to like to hustle you know when mm -hmm. you finish school you want to do something Missy Kai home yeah. like money hustle of course yeah and so I talked to this friend via Facebook and then she she helped me she told me I will send you to my agency mm -hmm. which was uh, in Kamethi house it's in Nairobi the name of the agency you know mm, I can't even remember because uh, I can't it's been long years, time huh? yeah long time but ago. were they like were they specializing what kinds of jobs were they specializing actually I was lied to uh, I was going to Qatar to Middle East to be barista ah, job okay, yeah. we were told that you're going to be trained for a job in Lebanon Beirut but when I arrived it was a lie it was house girl Mm -hmm. And then you now this Anne, she mm -hmm. was Anne Maura, she was already in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So I met Anne and we became friends and then she finished her contract in Lebanon and she went to Qatar. Mm -hmm. And then now after two years my contract finished and then I joined Anne in Qatar. Okay. Yeah. So basically you went as a house girl. Just yeah. to go uh, a little bit into mm -hmm. your experience being a house girl in Qatar, how was that? Not Qatar, Lebanon. Yeah, but you also went to Qatar. As yeah, a, yeah, later. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now as a in, yeah, in, in yeah, in a, later I went to Qatar. Yeah, uh, and it was, I was an English tutor in Qatar. You were never uh, like uh, doing I was, that jobs. I was an English tutor mm -hmm. at the same time because I was like taking care of the kids. Uh -huh. At the same time, I was like. Uh, like teaching them English, yeah, oh, okay. and homeworks, even math. So yeah. does it mean that you are getting paid double? Yeah, I was getting job? paid a lot of money. I was I was getting three thousand. You cut up, sorry, not euros. <laughs> yeah, of I was Qatar, getting, yes, yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. I was money. getting, yeah, I, I was getting three thousand. That's good money. Yeah, and then now, um, like, what was your motivation to now leave Qatar mm -hmm. and uh, come to to Germany? Because. I've not had like so many people going through the, the same process. It's a mm -hmm. desire for so many people, but what drove you into that? Yeah, I am a go-getter. Mm -hmm. And I've always, uh, being a house girl was not my, the end of my life, you yeah, know. And I was it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was like a, a hard-working girl in school. Mm -hmm. And I left the country when I was already, I was, I, I was still a teenager. I left like, ah. like I left to Be Beirut. When I, I cleared like high school and I left immediately even before my results were out. Okay. So my results came out when I was in Lebanon. Yeah. And when I came back to Kenya, I wanted mm -hmm. to go to university, mm -hmm. but I could not go because I was taught, I was admitted to university, mm -hmm. but I didn't do the follow up or anything. So I was supposed to apply again afresh. Ah, 
okay. and this it was jabs. Ah. So I didn't know any. I was not informed what to do next. Okay. And so I talked to Anne, and she connected me to go to Qatar, so that maybe I go save some money in Qatar and I come back yeah, to Kenya to go so to study. Do, yeah, which is okay. Yeah, yeah, because in Beirut I was not making a, a lot of money. I was mm -hmm. yeah, I was not making a lot of money. But even side yeah. hustles, they were even much more better than the the pay because I used to hustle, I used to wash. Uh, cars, I would wash even carpets for people with men, eh? we used to be like, yeah. So I would get more money than the, the money that I was getting in Beirut because it was, I think, less than 300 euro okay. per month. So, so it was not enough to educate me. Ah, okay. That's why I went to Qatar. And in Qatar, it's where I learned about this au pair program. Mm -hmm. I was like babysitting in the community. I was in Alcor community, you know. Okay, so with white people, of course. Yeah, right? it's international. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, uh, like babysitting mm -hmm. uh, in my free time eh? yeah i was like when i have free time i used to babysit in the community for and other I, people also. yeah for other people and they were paying you extra yeah yeah like like a, 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 an hourly rate or something yeah like uh, our hourly rate yeah okay yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah not end month yeah ah, okay so it was chinyamaji thing <laughs> so you know yeah side hustle side hustle yeah okay so it was like that time is when i learned about our pair program mm -hmm. via south african uh uh a uh, South African woman I was taking care of uh, uh, the kids the kids Jack mm -hmm. and yeah Kyra mm -hmm. and so they were she had already done this au pair program oh. in Germany yeah and she was a paramedic she did a house building in oh, wow. Germany oh, so she had and she so was much in info, Qatar yeah? yeah yeah but she comes from South Africa mm -hmm. and so and she was married to a UK Ah, to a person from the UK. Okay. And there were all experts in ah, Half Mood, international, yeah. international okay. hospital. Mm -hmm. So I used to babysit the kids and then she would be like, oh, you're so good in, with kids. Why can't you search for opportunities in Europe? Wow. Yeah. And then, you know, Facebook, I had already, like I had met, I joined Facebook when I was like a teenager, I was a kid because I had someone here who was like communicating with uh, her kids through my Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so I, I told her about this au pair thing. She told me, yeah, yeah, you can come, but I don't know how, but you can search and you can come. So I, I started searching for a family when I was in Qatar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, when I finished my contract, my boss didn't want to let me go. Mm -hmm. So what my boss did, they like forced me to sign. They didn't force me. They actually gave me some documents to fill in after my contract mm -hmm. but i didn't know they told me you sign here it is everybody signs these papers what, which language were they in in in, in arab <laughs> so everybody mm -hmm. signs these papers and when they finish their contract before mm -hmm. they are given their air ticket to go back to their country and so i signed those papers but what was their intention for, for me to, to renew contract for five years to stay with them for ah, five years okay. and so i like i waited like every day i will ask when am i when are you guys booking my ticket when, when is my flight back mm -hmm, home mm -hmm. i mean no uh, we have not yet booked then one time i asked the same question we had, like on friday we used to go you know uh, we can't start on friday in yes. qatar yeah. so we went to like to their their papas their their family mm -hmm. and we asked them in front of the mother how when am i going to fly home mm -hmm. and then she said what you're going to fly home you know mm -hmm. um you know um my uh, my son told me you renewed the contract you're going to be with them for the next three years so you're going to stay with us for five years and the children love you so much mm -hmm. you can't just leave mm -hmm. i i said no i didn't like agree to that i want to go back home i want to go to actually i said i want to go to germany oh yeah <laughs> and now that the problem started yeah. from there ah, okay. so they told me no they we went back home of course and then they told me no we then we are going if you want to go back to to kenya mm -hmm. you have to uh you have already signed the contract nobody nobody forced you ah. to to sign the contract but you're going to give us uh, some time to one year maybe mm -hmm. to stay with us for one year we as we search for someone and to did you stay you. like did you have to stay and continue taking no, care of the kids no i ran no. away <laughs> Because I had finished my contract. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, that thing called ka, re, kom, Kemboi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ran to the, after work, I mm -hmm. ran to the Kenyan embassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ran to the, that was the first time, because it was two times, I ran to the Kenyan embassy two times, yeah. So I ran to the mm -hmm. Kenyan embassy. Mm -hmm. And then the Kenyan embassy, they said, yeah, she, she, uh, they talked to them. And then, yeah, she can go back mm -hmm. until they get somebody to replace me. Then uh, they book my air ticket. She was like in peace. Mm -hmm. Then I went back with the family to stay yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. But then I stayed more, more six months without nothing. 
and not I had earning a, or anything no i was getting money of course okay but without no like no signs of for me to go back home yeah okay yeah and i didn't get any other like form to sign that uh like uh like um they can release you or something yeah like that. yeah so mm -hmm. there was there was that they were just quiet okay and then now things turned uh it was the Kaharibika when the my my host my my the the mama Mm -hmm. And the children, they traveled, they came to Germany and, yeah, to Germany. But I could not get a visa because I, I don't know there was a problem with my visa. Mm -hmm. But the, the rest of the people, the, the rest of the workers, the family, yeah. yeah, like the, the chef and uh, they used to travel like all of them. To, okay, okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah, with the other children, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I was like to remain with the husband, to be ironing the clothes, I, yeah, I, to take care of him because I didn't get a visa. Here because uh, sometimes yeah. those, those people... Anyway, so well, the other question that I wanted to ask you, like mm -hmm. of course, from the little knowledge that I know is mm -hmm. that uh, for you to be able to apply for au pair, mm -hmm. you actually need to have some level of proficiency mm -hmm. in language and in this case you wanted to come to germany so how did you go about that so i started learning uh, uh when you see when you have time in when you mm -hmm. have time that is what i can tell people mm -hmm. when you have time mm -hmm. please learn german i used to watch how from you youtube that? okay YouTube. yeah from youtube like, are there speak. any specific uh, channels you were watching? Yeah, I was channel? watching Learn German. It is in English and Swahili. When you just mm -hmm. go in YouTube and write Learn German, mm -hmm. you will find it. It is it is in English and in German. So, so I learned and it's lesson one, lesson two, like that. If it's A1, so, like that. Yeah, A2, that really, like that. Really, so I oh, did wow. that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is really interesting because uh, that is, okay, one thing that I also realized that you have in common because I also was exposed to the German language actually mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. I did not go, at, at first I did not go to any class. I just watched online so and I know so many people think that it's so expensive to learn German but if you have the commitment and you have the access to the internet mm -hmm. you can actually make it uh, possible you have to make a commitment to learn for a certain uh, period every 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 day mm -hmm. and improve yourself yeah she did it yeah you did it and that was it like yeah. that was it yeah okay and yeah. then so I, I, I did it like A1 mm -hmm. I, how long like, did it take you to get A1 proficiency learning by yourself and of course you've already uh, like uh, just uh, briefly shared how you were able to learn the la German language but of course now getting the certification how are you now able to get the certification to mm -hmm. say that uh, you had this level of proficiency to you to for you to be able to present to the embassy so after like after I went I came back to Kenya mm -hmm. I I had already booked online mm -hmm. I had like like I had already met Google, my best friend. Like uh -huh. I could like Google where I can write my exams, German exams. In Kenya or in Qatar? In Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned YouTube through YouTube in Qatar. Yeah. And then I booked an exam at Goethe Institute. So what but were the prerequisites? Like how did they allow you to to just take the exam without having to assess your, your, your level of German? Or yeah, they, did you uh, have to attend they, some classes uh, or what? At first, I was told to to pay for like I wasn't told to pay, but that is what happens. Mm. You pay if you want. If, if if you don't have any, they don't ask you if you they, you have to be attested the level of your German. Mm. That is, if you don't want to proceed to the to the other class. Yeah, if okay. you want to join the other class, I think they do that. But if you're just booking an exam, it's just an exam. Then they but allow you. yeah, but my host mom then mm -hmm. she um. She advised me to take the A1 again in school, but the class was already ongoing. Mm -hmm. So I joined the class for two weeks. How much did you have to pay? Did but I paid. paid I amount? paid the full amount. Which was how much? Forty-eight thousand. <gasps> but then, yeah. So I had to pay the the, the full amount. It and it is summed up to forty-eight, but it was I think that is something mm -hmm. plus registration fee plus exam plus and exam all and mm -hmm. everything plus exam and everything. It was about fifty something, yeah, or sixty something. And then yeah, and then the I exam. did the exam. I I attended the those a few weeks. Mm -hmm. I think it was two weeks, mm -hmm. two weeks or almost two three weeks, almost mm -hmm. three weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I did my exams and I passed. Then I started my out there. So it means you you passed with the first attempt. Yes. 
Like how, what percentage did you have to get? I had seventy two. Wow. I got a seventy two. Uh, that is really impressive. Yeah. So yeah, that is really impressive. Yeah. Because it's yeah, the wheel of I, I wanting think, to yeah, do something. If you want something so bad and yeah, yeah th I can really relate from my own situation. I also wanted to go to German by then when I started studying the the language. I ended up doing taking some lessons online. For me, I didn't attend any class took the exam and still got an 85 percent wow but like the thing that i did that helped me get the 85 percent is just after studying mm -hmm. i also now tailored my, my my learning to preparing for the exam mm -hmm. like looking at uh, previous uh, uh, exams that have been done yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Online. yeah doing a lot of listening doing yeah. a lot of like uh, trying to answer the reading questions because you have four sections mm -hmm. in any case so i guess um i did the same thing yeah i guess uh, eventually like we are gonna do a totally different video because i don't want this one to be too long but in the next video now um like we are now gonna get, get into more detail about the au pair process especially if you're going to take it from germany what you're going to express expect at the interview the preparation process uh, and all that before you get to that mm -hmm. so thank you so much guys uh we're going to end this video here if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to share with somebody who needs some inspiration mm -hmm. i mean just because somebody finished high school never got the chance to go to to the university ended up as a house it doesn't mean that their life ends at that like you have so much potential in you you just have to have the drive to be better you have to desire desire good things yeah to be honest life in europe is you must get Maisha London. It's Maisha London. Yeah, at, at, yeah, mm. it is Maisha London. It's Maisha yeah. London. It's good because, life. Yeah, there yeah. is no, 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 no. Like no there's no problem or in 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 wanting better. Mm. I'm not saying that uh, Africa is not a place that people can live, mm -hmm. but you cannot compare the two. It, yeah. it depends with whatever background you're coming from. But if you're coming from some backgrounds like. Yeah, you know, yeah. then uh, you really get to appreciate the life that there is in Europe, despite the challenges, not like there are no challenges here. But yeah, that was the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And we will be back with uh, Stacy for more videos. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.